Amen. So it's good to be in God's house. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he never seems to say any more than all the time, but it's something. Yeah. My whole message has been preached already. But it's going to be preached again. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. As we was coming over here tonight, and, 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 and we was coming to Sacramento over here, and we went by several different churches. And the Lord put a thought in my mind about which all the churches tonight ain't having church on Tuesday night. Yeah. But the Lord put a thought in my mind that on Sunday they'll be having church. Yeah. And Brother Billy, I probably can go, I can go in any one of them churches and fellowship with them both. Because they believe in Jesus. Come on. Amen. As long as they believe in the blood, I can fellowship with them both. Amen. But you know, but he put a thought in my mind, I can't go in them churches and lift up my hand in every church. Come on. I can't go in every church and say amen in every church. Come on. I, can't, I can't go in every church and do what God wants me to do in every church. Honey, yeah. in this church you can. Come on. Amen. But we sit back and seem like we don't want to move. Come on. Seem like something just binds us down to our seat. Yeah. Amen. And the thought comes to my mind today. What did we come to church for? Come on. Why did we take time, Brother Billy, and 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 and, and, and clean up and dress up and get ready and, and spend four dollar gasoline a gallon to come to church? Come on. Do we do it just to come to be seen or sit on our pews? Yeah. Or we do do we do it because what the word says come and work of him? Come on. Amen. Yeah. Protect not yourself together together. Even the more so as you see the day approaching. Amen. Amen. And the key word is together. Yeah. Coming together. Amen. You can get a lot of people in church. Amen. But you ain't going to get them all coming together for that come one on. purpose. Amen. If we'll come in for one purpose, yeah. Bill, to lift up his name. Not come in to talk about the ball game. Yeah. Amen. Not come in to see what sister so and so is doing. Or brother so and so is doing. Amen. But come in for one purpose. The one purpose only. And that's to lift up the name of Jesus. Whoa. The one that Hallelujah. died on Hallelujah. Calvary for you. Honey, that's what we need to be coming to church for. Amen. Honey, if we ain't coming for that reason, we might as well be sitting at home watching the ball game. Come on. Amen. Amen. Because you ain't going to get no more out of it. Yeah. You can get just as blessed sitting at home watching the ball game. You can't sit on that pew and get nothing. Come on. It's time that we get involved and get in, come together for yeah. one purpose and lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, Nancy quoted this scripture, turn up to 100 Psalms. Nancy quoted one, Billy Dunn quoted a bunch of them. Tyler Sutherland. one. Come on. Amen. I was showing Amy. I said, look at these notes. I said, they done used everything I got. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But we didn't have this video. There's people out there that didn't hear what Brother Billy had to say. Oh, yeah, I got to tell you what, there's people out there that's hurting and dying and that they need to hear the word of God. But this Hallelujah. is what I'm free. This is what I'm delivering. Amen. Come on. Going to church won't deliver you. Come on. Honey, you're going to have to get in God's yeah. word. We're going to have to start living oh, in faith. It's time to church. Hallelujah. Start being the church. Come on. It's time to church quit playing church and start being the church. Amen. amen. Come for that reason to lift up the Lord. Amen. Yes, amen. His spirit's what's going to draw me in. Amen. Amen. 100 Psalms. <laughs> it says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Ooh, it is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and his sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy endure, and his truth endure to all generations. Hallelujah. So we need to enter into his gate, Brother Billy. We, we need to come in ready, amen. Yeah. We, we need to be getting ready on the way to church, amen. It's time to start praying before you get to the church. Honey, I know in a lot of churches they don't only do that. Oh, I mean, a lot of churches they don't only pray for a few minutes like we do around here. Come on. But it's time that we start praying before we ever get to the church. Amen. Oh, get the worldly on. stuff out of our minds. I know we get caught up in the world we've been working and get caught up in doing this and doing that. Uh, but we need to get that stuff out of our mind and come for one purpose. And that's to worship Him. Amen. Amen. Enter into His gate. Amen. Ready. Amen. Enter into His gate. Pumped up. Ready to go. Amen. Amen. Ready. Enter into His gate. Start praising Him. Lifting Him up. Oh, Honey, you want the difference in the singing. You watch the difference in the preaching. You watch the difference in the anointing falling. If we just enter in like he wants us to enter in. Come on. If we'll come into his gates with thanksgiving. Yeah. And his courts with praise. Honey, we got something to be thankful about. 
We ought to be willing to come in and praise him and lift him up. Come on. I mean, he died for you. Oh, he died for for you. you. you ain't going to have to go to a burning hell. You got a place. You got a mansion getting ready for you. Come on. We got something to pray to you. Amen. About. Amen. Billy quoted this uh, scripture in Hebrew, the 10th chapter. Come on. And the 25th verse. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. Come on. As the matter of time is, but exalting one another in so much the more as you see the day approaching. Come on. We ought to be coming to church more. Amen. Most of the world's coming less. Yeah. The church is ain't full like it used to be. If you can get back in some of them history pictures and look at them, I can remember looking at one over in an island. They had our own wall of a Methodist church. And it looked like me, everybody in Ireland was there. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They come together to worship the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's what we need to do. We're going to have to start coming together to lift him up. Come on. To coming in to praise him. The really quote the scripture in Acts the second chapter, one through five, where the where they went up to the upper room and the Holy Ghost fell. They come together. Oh. The oh. Yes. Oh. They didn't go in up to the upper room, Sister Richard. Come on. They come in to worship the Lord. Yeah. You know what? I believe there's some Baptists in there. Come on. Amen. There are probably a few Baptists. Hallelujah. And I feel this holy people. But when they all left, when the Holy Ghost fell, they all spoke in tongues. Amen. Oh, it, it, when they come together yeah. and then the an anointing started falling in that way, that's what to do here, bro. Come on. If we all come in and worship him and come together, there'll be a mighty rushing wind. Oh, hallelujah. There'll be a wind come through this place, honey, that'll change your life and turn your it, see it change some lives to burn that upper room. Come on. Then old boy Peter, when he went up the upper room, he was saying one to die Jesus. Come on. Amen. Yeah. But when he come out. When he come out, there was a change oh, took place. Oh, that Holy Ghost oh, anointed oh, changed him. Amen. There was a change took place in his life. He didn't oh, deny him no more. He oh, told him who he was. He yeah. preached it harder than anybody ever preached. Oh, Amen. Amen. Because they come together. Yeah. In one place. Yes. One Amen. We need to come together and and and, and worship him. Amen. Amen. Well, the title song, uh, song about the hot and cold. Luke, yeah. Mister Luke Warren. Yeah. That's where the church is at. Yeah. yeah. Come on. See, we want him when we need him. Yes, sir. We want him. We want him. We want him. See, we want the Jesus that followed me. Come on. That's what he told his disciples. When he called him, he said, follow me. Amen. See, we want, we want Jesus to follow us. We want him. When we need him, we want him right there. Come on. But we need to, we need not be. We need to be hot for Jesus. Amen. Amen. We need to get on par for him. If we get on par for him, we'll still change. Amen. 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 The Bible talks about in the last days there'll be a turning away from the truth. In 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter, one through four, talks about turning away from the truth and itching ears. That's where we're at today. There's people who just want to come to church to comfort their little minds. Come on. And say, Well, I went to church. I'm all right. That don't make you all right. Come on. Honey, we ought to be on par for him. Yeah. We're gonna to have to get serious, amen. Don't have an itch in your ears. This truth is what's going to set us free. Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it cuts. It's a two-edged sword, amen. But it's supposed to hurt. It's supposed to cut, amen. It's supposed to be able to take some stuff out of you that don't need to be like that, amen. If we get work, if we let it cut us, like Peter did in that upper room, if we let it cut us, it'll change us. Amen. It'll turn us around, honey. We need some changing, yeah. amen. I need some changing in my life, amen. I need a closer walk with Him, amen. 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 But that's what it's going to take. Yeah. If we'll come together and start lifting them up. And praising you, and, and let God move. You watch Him fill this place. Come on, He'll fill it. That Spirit's what will draw it, brother Billy. Amen. The spirit, without the Spirit, it ain't going to draw. But His Spirit will draw. Honey, you get out here and you build a great big fire, and you watch people come watch it burn. Come on. If you get a fire built, a Holy Ghost fire built in some of these churches, if we'll come in together and worship Him in one time and one accord, no other purpose, just come to worship Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what I come for tonight. Amen. I didn't come to be seen. I didn't come. I, I didn't come to be heard. I think I didn't come to be heard. But I want to be heard. Amen. But that's what I come for to lift Him up, to praise Amen. Him. That's what I took time. I didn't feel like coming today. I've been sick all day. Come on. Been having some chest pain. But he's still worthy. Amen. He's still died for. He's the one going to take care of me, oh, amen. I mean, he's the only one hallelujah. I can turn to, amen. And I'm going to come and I'm going to worship him, amen. As long as there's breath in my body. And if this thing's going to quit beating, I want it to quit beating while I'm preaching these words, amen. amen. That'd be a good way to go to it. I know of, amen. I want, I want to do what God wants me to do, amen. I want, I want to be in his will. Good 
not in his way. Amen. Amen. It's time the church to get in his, in his will. Yeah. If we'll all come together. Too much bickering. Come on. Too much fighting with one another. Yeah. Different denominations, too much fighting there too. Yeah. But there's a whole lot of fighting just in your own church. Come on. Too much jealousy in your churches. Amen. Too much jealousy between one preacher and another preacher, one singer and another singer. Come on. Honey, we need to come together for one purpose and to lift up Jesus. Amen. If, it, if you can't sing it's good. Brother Bill, take it to the Lord. That's Come what it's all about. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, you need come to hear uh, somebody tell you really good singer. Oh. Come to worship the Lord. Amen. Lift him up. And I guarantee you, when that anointing fall, it'll touch lives. Yeah. I've heard a lot of good singers. A lot, I've heard a lot of good singers now saying, Brother Billy. Come on. I guess that's hard to believe, man. <laughs> Not really. But the anointing. Yeah. See, that anointing, when, when he's singing the song, that anointing hits you. Oh, that's what affects me. It ain't a good oh, saying, amen. Yeah, it ain't yeah. the talent that they got that God give them. But when that anointing relies amen. on it, amen. When they're living amen. their life before God and, it, and, and, and He's coming in here and anoints their life, that's what'll make a difference in somebody's life, amen. That song can change you just like His Word can change you. Because it's His Word. But there's got to be anointing, Brother Billy. This Word ain't no good about anointing, amen. amen. Unless the Spirit falls above, it won't do you no good. But when that anointing falls, it'll change your life. Amen. Just like it did in that upper room. Yeah. When that morning came, like a mighty rushing wind, there was lives changed. Just to read it. Them boys didn't come in or come out there like they went in. Come on. And there ain't no reason that we come out of any church service like we went in. Come on. If you're feeling down and you come into church, you shouldn't feel, be feeling down when you go back out. Amen. If you do something wrong. Yeah. Amen. We need to be lifting each other up. Coming together to worship the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's what the Lord gave me. Billy done preached it, and I preached it, and here it is. Right. Give the Lord a hand for His word. Amen.